Greetings, vinyl community. This video is a response to a thread started by that musically obsessed fellow, Chris Profi. Uh, and a tip of the hat to uh, Derek Higgins for giving me the push to respond to this video. Um, the task is very simple. Is very simple. Spell the word vinyl using records and the names of the artists. And so to spell V-I-N-Y-L, we'll start with V is for Verto, French experimental electronic rock band. Their album Real, 1936. Uh, this is on the Flow label, F-L-E-A-U. Um, this is mainly a project of the guitarist Jean-Pierre Grasset, and uh, there's also a lot of contributions from Benoit Weedman on keyboards, uh, who was in Magma, um, around this time or a bit earlier, so there's a strong connection to Magma. Uh, it's very cool on the Avant side from 1978. I is for Iron Butterfly. Uh, this is their third album, Ball, from 1969. This, to me, is probably their, their best album overall. Uh, it's in this Unipack gatefold cover, so the record comes out from the middle of the gatefold. Um, and this is actually only the second studio album by the classic Inagata De Vida lineup. And it features this logo that was very cool for junior high school students in my day to draw on their brown paper book covers or if they were really hardcore on their desktops. N is for News From Babel. This is the second of only two albums by News from Babel, who are a spin-off, uh, sort of a spin-off of a spin-off. Uh, they're a spin-off, you might say, of Art Bears, which was a spin-off of Henry Cow, and um, it features Chris Cutler on drumming and vocals by Dagmar Krause, both of whom were in both Art Bears and Henry Cow. Dagmar, however, only sings on a couple of songs on this album. On the first album, she was the lead singer uh, pretty much throughout. There was one duet with Phil Minton, I think. Um, this album has uh, us, one song sung by Phil Minton, several songs sung by Robert Wyatt. Um, Sally Potter does uh, a couple of vocals, and uh, then the last couple are by Dagmar Krause. And then the remainder of the band is um, uh, Zena Parkins on Electric Harp, and Lindsay Cooper, again from Henry Cow, on Woodwinds. Why is for Stomu Yamashita and his album Freedom is Frightening. This is an incredible album from 1973. Very brooding, dark and stormy as befits the cover uh, jazz rock fusion. A strong soft machine vibe due to the presence of Hugh Hopper on bass. Hugh Hopper is the secret weapon on this album. He makes this album. Brilliant bass playing and just that sound. Stomu Yamashita on percussion, uh, his wife uh, Hisako on violin, um, Brian Gascoigne on guitar, and I'm sorry, on keyboards, and um, uh, Gary Boyle on guitar. Stomu Yamashita is our Y. Finally, L is for low noise. This is actually a project by Thomas Dolby, recording under a, a, a sort of pseudonym or band name. This is a 12-inch single, and the song is a cover of The Jungle Line by Joni Mitchell. Uh, this features some of the same musicians who played on um, Thomas Dolby's early records, uh, Matthew Seligman on bass and uh, Kevin Armstrong on guitar, both who played on uh, She Blinded Me With Science. J.J. Uh, Johnson is on percussion. Um, not to be confused, this is the British J.J. Johnson, not to be confused with the American drummer J.J. Johnson, who played with uh, Tedeschi Trucks Band, and definitely not to be confused with the American trombonist J.J. Johnson, who's uh, a whole other world. 
Very cool record. Uh, again, some some brooding music because this is one of I think Joni Mitchell's most amazing songs. So to have it covered in uh, an equally experimental way is very cool. This is from 1981 on the Happy Birthday label, uh, made in France. So that's it. That's uh, a quick five and a half minute video for Chris Propfi and the Vinyl Thread. Thank you very much for watching. Be well. Talk with you again soon. Bye bye for now.